Okay, kind of best in Brunswick, as you can tell, there's nobody there. It's quiet. Nobody goes there because nobody really know what's going on with this industry in the capitalist system. Now, we know in the capitalist system, like across from me, uh, McDonald's. Where does a McDonald's? There's a Burger King close by because they compete against each other. Tim Horton joined the fight. Anyway, it goes on and on. In a capitalist system, you must destroy the competition. That's what you're supposed to do. So Cannabis New Brunswick, they announced last a few weeks ago that they lost, what, one quarter, the first one quarter, they lost $2.3 million, or is it half or whatever, half a year? I'm tired, ignore me. But they lost $2.3 million, and the question is this, is why? Now, and this is not just a rant of a, a Scotchman, a grouchy old Scotchman just, yeah, yeah, yeah. This Scotchman goes after the government. The government, like I did last week. I confronted uh, two MLAs, I even confronted the media that they should investigate why Cannabis New Brunswick is losing a lot of money. Number one, you go in there, the first thing they ask you is ID. Do I look like somebody that's uh, under the age of 19? Bullshit! So, they ask for ID. Now, who is looking at your ID? Is there Google glasses that they could look at the card and send it to who else? Mr. Irving in St. John, the Irving headquarters. Then they take that name and put it in their file of industrial security. Have you already heard industrial security? They're the Irving police and they're worse than, they're bad. If they, they want information, they get it. But anyway, focus trust. So number one, you have the, the question of ID. Number two, you're met by a bouncer right at the door, about this tall, and looking at you like you're some kind of piece of shit. I don't know why. And number two, number three, the summer is all light. It's all light up. All light up. Oh my God, it hurts, it, it hurts the eyes. These people that stone don't want to go out because the sun hurts their eyes. So they want to stay in the dark. Then they go see a little druggie in the woods. They exchange money and that's it. Exchange money for dope and it's all over. And what's the other thing? There was another, uh, I guess the quality of dope is no good anyway. But <coughs> there's a lot of things they got to change and they're not going to change. So what happens? What's going to happen? The government is going to start cracking down on those drug dealers. They're going to crack down and they're going to haul them in court. Now, this is the mob. The mob is hauling the competition in court and they'll say, Your Honor, this is not going to be tolerated. We must send a message to the public. This will not be tolerated. Send what message? They're selling marijuana. So, <laughs> This is getting crazier and crazier and crazier. So what's going to happen? Cannabis New Brunswick, they're going to continue to lose money. There's just going to be a big, huge, huge hole. And they're crying and saying, well, how come? You're supposed to treat the customers with respect. You don't go through the door and you got some ID. Like it's a sort of like a authority thing. You got some ID and you're met by a bouncer. So. That's what's happening, and we're going to keep on asking questions to the government. Why are they allowing this to continue? But it's the government. They don't listen.